All right. All right. You know? Oh, there we go. Now the game decides to show up. Perfect. Perfect. So. Since we had a uh, pretty, pretty scary series of Fridays with uh, Soma. I kind of, I kind of need a break from the very, <laughs> very scary games. So, um, this has been on my radar for a little bit. I, I've avoided any kind of spoilers. Um, I, I first found out from the, um, the stipendium has a song on it. You know, Aurora, that that is pretty true. Taxes are kind of uh, taxes are a pretty pretty horrifying thing. Uh, especially when, uh, well, I, I guess I guess one advantage is if you're already dead, then uh, you know it's not like you're having to make any more. Yeah, I'm I'm looking at that, and that bar is a little high. Let's take it down a few notches. Um. Oh. For a second, I thought that call was a uh, a random sound effects that you triggered. <laughs> so I was like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> let's preemptively bring down. Let's just kind of. This down. Let's try. Um. Brutal. Come on, Brutal. I haven't made any changes to you. All right. What's going on? Let me check the filter. Ah! I see what happened there. Hold on. The downside... I'm pretty sure this game did not come out in 2020. <laughs> All right, let me refund that and give it another stab. Or not. I don't control you. <laughs> but uh, I, I'm, I was trying to make... Um... There we are, now we're brutal. Time for some brutal gaming, some life and death. But I'm, uh, I was planning on having a few possible filter effects. I'm not sure if I want to do them like rename Brutal to something else and just have them all in a pool, or if I want them to like, if you trigger one, it will do some stuff behind the scenes to have all the others on cooldown, etc., etc. And in the to kind of lay the groundwork for that, I did some renaming, and uh, the downside to the fact that I have a lot of stuff hard code in code is that, like, if you change a name, it suddenly doesn't know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> All right, so that should be good. Um, I am blind on this game, but considering the very little bit I know about Death and Taxes is that we're going to be deciding... We're going to be deciding people, whether people live or die in some fashion. Um, so I don't know where this game is going to go as far as like how in the nitty gritty um, morality question sort of thing or if it's going to be like trolley problem kind of stuff so if you are um if you have any sensitivities or triggers around um death uh, or or things like that 
Um, I, I appreciate you stopping on by. Uh, but definitely take care of yourself, and I'll see you whenever we're on a more light and fluffy game. Yeah, yeah. Your your first brush with taxes is never fun. It's actually even crazier um, in the United States because there's places in Europe which do it the correct way, the same way, because your tax institution already knows what is owed and what you've paid. And so they just basically send you a, hey, here's our calculations, here's how much we owe you, you owe us. Um, if you want to dispute this, take it up with XYZ. Um, so like... For the vast majority of people, you can just kind of let things ride and just double check that nothing egregious got missed. But no, no, we gotta gotta make it too complicated here. But uh, let's get into the game. Already unlocked an achievement. All right. Ooh. Fate. Keeper of the World Order. Oh, we got a snazzy little bow tie. Oh no, we're missing our lemons. For the dark and dastardly ritual of tax- Man, these people- We were just complaining about taxes. These people have to full on do rituals for taxes. You need some leaves. You need some eyes, a skull, and some lemons. <sighs> Whoop. I'm Excuse really... Me, Excuse me, sir! 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 Can I go ahead of you in the queue? Sir! Oh, he is, uh, not happy. All right, now we can summon our taxes. Oh, they're summoning me. Oh, 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 I'm the Grim Reaper. All right, what do we got? Well, we're on Brutal, so I feel like this is a good face. But what do we got for suits? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is I think this is good. Begin the bureaucratic afterlife. All right. Finally. The new spawn has a welcome. All right. What a uh Momentous day. I am honored to welcome you into our world. Spawn. Hang on. Spawn number five zero. Uh, definitely get the feeling they're just kind of going through the motions on this. It's like, oh yeah, welcome, um, person number fifty. All right. I am Faith. I am the Keeper of World Order. Oh, okay. Like, were you named Fate, or are you like the physical manifestation of a meta- of the meta- 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 metaphysical concept of Fate? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't care for 50, can I be Fate? Another ironic one. Great. No. You may call yourself the Grim Reaper, as that is what you are. Welcome to your All new right. job as an overseer of Cosmopolis City Subdivision 4, the Sun County Wine Region. Oh, the wine region, eh, hey, yo. I know what you are thinking. Maybe we get bribed yeah. with the good stuff. Your assignment is choosing humans who have to die pretty standard stuff. So is this like a death note situation where I like describe their death or is this like 
they're 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 on a coin flip whether they live or survive, and I decide where that coin flip lands. As it is your first day, try to get to know the system, and do not destroy the world. Yes, <laughs> gallows humor. You see, right? Yes. <clears throat> Clear. Wait, I have to kill people? I'm not ready for this. Okay, whatever you say, boss. Will I get paid for this? All right. Yeah. yeah. Most certainly. The contract stipulates that every deaf gets a fair salary based on their performance accuracy. Accuracy? Marking profiles correctly is the most important task. If you mark more or less than necessary, you will not get your More or less than necessary. All. So is this going to be kind of papers pleasing? That might be a bit, I, I don't know. Papers please is kind of brutal sometimes in uh, like the characteristics. Um, I get that's part of the shtick. Errors in secondary fitly. tasks will reduce the total, even if the primary task is <laughs> executed correctly. Oh, great. Now we have more tasks on top Remember, of tasks. The fate of the world lies in your hands. Humans march towards the great dying. They always teeter on the precipice, creating endless chaos. The Great Dying. Is that when everyone... Is that like the 80s? That's when, that's when everyone had that, all that tie-dye and all that stuff. We keep humans from falling off. We establish the equilibrium and keep the chaos in check. For that reason, your actions will have consequences. Huh. Well, also, humans fall flat. <laughs> Alright, so if my actions have... I wonder if... Um, makes me wonder how linear this game will be. Because my actions could have consequences. I don't know if that just means, like... If I mess up, we get game over and have to restart. Or if there's, like... Um, I can kind of skew things for something. Um, uh, I I haven't seen um, I haven't looked at any of the terrar any Terraria mods, so I'm not familiar with what the face melter looks like. But like, um, I believe like the face face melter itself is like already known as like a like metal. Term. No, you know, like shredding the guitar, something, 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 melting faces. But let's see. Where do I work? I was born to do this. Why me? Whatever, let's get this over with. Hmm. How enthusiastic do we want to be bumping people off? I mean, the dude literally summoned us for this. Although I wonder where the lemons come in. You know what? Maybe that's to infuse my personality. Maybe I have a very citrusy, lemony kind of attitude. So let's go with uh, whatever. Let's get if this over with. If you want to work here, you will have to change the attitude. Follow me. I will show you your workplace. One more thing. This will be your seven day evaluation period. When the week is done, you will be assessed. All right. One week to show us what you are made of, Reaper. I mean, you should know what I'm made of. Leaves, eyeballs, and lemons. You literally summoned me. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's like a very famous, um, I don't know if it's a brand of um, guitar that's notably red. 
Ooh. Read this. Welcome, Grim. Here are the files on humans who are in life-threatening situations within your domain. I am granting you time to settle in, so no difficult rules and requests as of today. Quota for the day. One human has to die. Send me the files by fax after you have made your decision. Good luck on the first day. Fate. Okay. Can we... Alright. Can we put the note? Yeah. Alright. Alright, what up, what up, hold on. Before before we get to work, we gotta we gotta make sure we check our gotta check our phone. Alright, what do we got? Can I Cocker? <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, what what fucking app is is that supposed to be like for Twitter? Cocker? Hmm. Don't like that. Oh boy, don't like that. Alright. Cerberus is dead. Feed your soul. Oh, I like that. Oh, that is that is a I would go to a bar. I would go to that bar. That's that's a good Hmm. That's a good shit. Honestly, I kinda wanna I need to make a note to Google for a bar with this. If I, if I find a bar, there's definitely a bar named it, but if it doesn't have Feed Your Soul, and it's gotta have, it's gotta have this kind of music playing. You know, like a little jazz, a little soft saxophone going on. Mm. Alright, let's, uh, let's make sure, let's make sure we keep this up. This, this is what we're looking forward to this whole week. Okay, what's this? Deus Fax Machina. Really? Alright, I see I see what's going on here. Oh yeah, that. Deus Ex Machina, God in the Machine, and Fax Machina, whatever. Even in death, they cannot get rid of fax machines. Um, I also just realized. Brutal will never go away because I didn't fix it in the removal section. Cause I have them in separate areas cause I have not found out how to combine all the code in one. So I'm gonna have to manually disable it this time. Cause I was like, you know, this shouldn't be going on this long. No, no, no. We are not brutal forever. <laughs> hey, Glottle. Glottle, lottle, lottle. I'm glad your uh, your new computer's uh, looking to be pretty good, putting it through the paces. So all those outfits I, I I've been catching catching you working on are pretty damn swanky. It certainly makes me want to get some little outfit things for myself, but probably will have to talk to someone if I wanted them, like, inside the model. Also, aha! Now I can do this! Haha! Oh, wait, hold on. God damn it. Ah, that's right. That's right. Never mind. Stretch, fine. I'll stretch, I'll stretch. Ugh. And, and a hydrate. Okay. This is, you know, I mean, deciding deaths is uh, certainly a thirsty work. I mean, I'm a skeleton, so I'm probably drinking milk instead of water. Now that I think about it, and you got to keep that, got to keep that caffeine, uh, caffeine, calcium high. Let's see, who do we got? We got a Stephanie Huang, age 41, financial manager. 
Stephanie has been working at an eco-research NGO for about six months, trying to figure out their financial situation. The bookkeeping has been sloppy enough that it'll take them a while. They're a huge fan of swimming, often going on nighttime swims. And we have Renee O'Shaughnessy. I. I am not Scottish or Irish. I am not from the Isles. Shaughnessy? O'Shaughnessy? She's a 27 year old teacher. Renee teaches languages and literary criticism to high schoolers, an arduous task, all things considered. They have an interest in education science, with the aim to upgrade the teaching methods of others as many of the old timers as many of the old timers are not up to date with modern approaches. Huh, so like I don't feel like there's any huge red flags out the gate to make this an easy decision. Also thank you for the head pats. Um I'm wondering if the implication, because you know they're a teacher, they're trying to improve processes for other teachers. Oh, if I mouse off and back, do I get more text? Too bad they don't have nine lives. Are they worth it? Do not go gentle into that good night. For you. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Stephanie Huey. I don't think I met anyone from these. Where does he get all these? Ooh, tough break. Why though? Inter. Oh, that's that's kind of that's that's some acute attention to detail. If you're mousing, you know, changes the dial the internal internal thoughts if you keep hovering over the same one. But if you like go to different stuff. I wonder if there are other. Well, I'm number fifty. Come on, dude. You got this. Um, but yeah, so teacher trying to improve processes, so she may impact a lot of lives. But we also have this financial manager, eco research NGO. Sloppy bookkeeping makes me feel like the NGO, yeah, I have to kill one of them. I feel like something's wrong with the NGO. And if she's not there, like, maybe someone's going to embezzle all of the money, or it's actually going to a not-so-great place. But also, I feel like if I kill off Renee, that's also going to have other ripple effects. No, see, um, he told me if I... I mean, I actually could... I think I can have them both live. But I think it was telling me that, like, if we fail the primary objective, we fail. Well, you know what? Let's, uh, you only live twice. There you go. Um, oh, I guess I'm in an elevator. Personal quarters. Wait, do we have, hold on. How do I, I don't know how to control this. Are the, are the janitors ghosts? Yeah, the vibes I'm getting, if one dies, bad things gonna happen specific bad thing will depend on whose stamp yeah yeah and like that's kind of one of the things I, I feel like this game is gonna veer more on the trolley problem sort of thought experiment side of this compared to say being very brutal grim realistic like something more papers please would be which is good I definitely wanted something a little bit more uh 
lighthearted after the horror games. Boss mentioned your job was to keep things from getting too chaotic. Make sure things, whatever bad thing, will prevent that existential threat. Yes, yes. Like, he mentioned, like, the great dying. Which kind of seems like we should not have people die? I don't know. Um, ads are coming up in case you need to adjust volumes. If you stick around, I will see you in a minute. Meanwhile, I'm gonna try and figure out how to use this elevator. Yeah, we'll, we'll just have to see. I don't know if, like, he said I have a seven-day evaluation period. I don't know if that means, like, the game covers just seven days, or if it's, like, the tutorial section is seven days. Quartermaster Mortimer's Plunder Emporium. What ho, customers! Oh. Welcome to Quartermaster Mortimer's Plunder Emporium. As you may guess, I am Mortimer. The Mortimer. The one you may have heard of. The famous, nay, infamous Quartermaster. That guy is having way too much damn fun. <laughs> Never heard of you before. What makes you infamous? The Mortimer? What makes you infamous? I, I was the very pirate king of lore. Feared across the world. Even as I have grown most humble with age, I still carry within me glory days. Uh, can I buy stuff here? I, you're visiting me ultimate dream. The Emporium! Browse at your will. Oh, I actually have money. Ooh. Interesting. Infernal Illuminator. The Infernal Illuminator reveals that which is most deeply hidden. Once you've already made the choices and are passing through again, Else it can't show much anything, because that's how things work, okay? Huh. This ethereal resonator. This resonator collect collates accelerated electromagnetic waves of various frequencies, generated by the artificial vibration of eternal recurrence, which travel through the aether, and then blast them at you. So it's a radio. <laughs> the Plague Doctor. Sporting a super stylish beak, the mask hails from an era of epidemics, where physicians, with little to no medical expertise, tried to alleviate the suffering of the inflicted, an ill omen. But it really fancies up any fancies up my visage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Play, uh, Plague Doctor masks are certainly an aesthetic. Um, but I am poor, so I will have to leave you adieu um mortimer monsieur mortimer Ooh, is this the bar hold on yeah the cerberus den to me to me to me can i hold on how do i i wanna i wanna i wanna how do I... Hold on. Okay, so I can get here just fine. How does this work? No? Yar! Fuck! I'm being defeated by an elevator! Okay, so if I line it up like this... No? Okay, maybe, I, maybe I can't go in yet? What about here? Nothing. Okay. Here? Nothing. Grim office. Um. Glottle. Elevators are complicated. They really have their ups and downs. Really, Glottle? Really, Glottle? 
Everyone boo this person. Boo him! Boo him! I need to I need to fix my damn zoom thing. <laughs> I don't I don't know why it's kinda cause like look, I'm kinda taking up like I'm like aligned with the bottom of chat, but then in this one, I'm like moved a little bit further down. And I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Alright. Um personal quarters. Dressing room. I need a mirror. Um, can I use... Oh, 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 I can use the arrow keys. Okay, I can move the arrow keys up and down, but I can't exit. Can I go to Fate's office? Alright, I can go to Fate's office. Oh, the new death spawn. Welcome. How was your first day? It sucked. I don't want to kill anyone. The day was awesome. I didn't kill anyone. Mostly okay. I don't know. Um, alright, so... I feel like we could go with one of the first two. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the second one, because this seems like the funniest. Grim, I understand the job can be stressful, and that these decisions do not come lightly. You cannot let everybody live. All our choices have serious consequences, even if you cannot foresee them. Yeah, some of those people might that turn into what a, I am for. Might turn into VTubers. Trust me, and I will guide you. It it's will poor, be poor, poor bastards of everyone. I'm protesting. <laughs> I'm unionizing. <laughs> Such is our curse. Nobody deserves it, but we do what must be done. It would be a disaster if everybody survived. The choices will only get harder from now on. Yeah, if, uh, Pay attention to you the You can't have infinite growth on a finite Understood? system. That is one problem, like suppose we 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 are immortal um you know population starts becoming a big problem um especially if everyone's like at, even if everyone's like at the prime of their lives like there's only so much space on earth we can build hell we're already having troubles without us being immortal <sighs> That's without getting into the whole thing of, like, the human mind trying to conceptualize, conceptualize um, living for eternity. And that gets into other fun existential horrors. But that's why we're not playing Soma. We're playing this. No more existential... Well, I don't think we can avoid all existential, existential horrors when we're dealing with uh, choosing who lives and dies. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. I have great hopes for you. Do not disappoint me. And I have not really seen many of the pur any of the Purge movies. No money. Yeah, because we didn't kill anyone. All right, so I think only the areas that okay. So only the areas that are lit up or colored are areas I can go to. Okay. And I got no money because I didn't kill one person, like, was my job. Because, like, I've seen snippets of, I think, one of, I think, like, the first Purge movie, and it's like, they are not some sort of objective, clear, moral thing. Um... It's still very classist. What the? Ooh! Popping off on Cocker. Culture Mag. Higher educational standards help bring peaceful solutions to simmering conflicts. Ooh! Oh, is this? Ooh, maybe we're gonna get like messages on our phone about, like, the war- the effects of, um, the people we let live and die. 
Hmm. All right. Morning, Grim. I hope you found your accommodations adequate. Here are the rules of the day. Follow them, and you will be okay. A simple task to balance out the mishap of yesterday. Quota for the day: one human with an info technology background has to die. Try to be careful. Fate. I see. Well, if we have to, if we have to bump off a tech bro, man. Ah, oh, man, I'm so sorry. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, man. Mm. You know, you minted all those, you minted all those NFTs, but ah, oh, man, your your monkey just came up dead. All right, so we got. Let's go left to right because I'm left-handed, and therefore I choose these. Uh, so the teacher should have died. So, barring us getting any, I would say, like, people with red flags, I feel like it's not so much going to be there's a correct choice. I feel like it's, it's more like, um... The things we do are going to shape how things develop. So in the last circumstance, we had the teacher and the financial person with the NGO. So we just got this message about, you know, higher teaching standards, having better outcomes. So presume um, instead if we had bumped off the teacher and we had the financial outcome person. And the financial outcome person could have, like, done something and it this NGO is improving the quality of life um, in war-torn countries or, or um, improving quality of um, access to water. Um, like, it's not like there is a correct answer, but the good that is done in the world takes a different shape. If that's making any sense. And that, that that's just sort of what I'm taking away so far from, like, one. Also, do all three. No, 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 no. Two. Two would, would bring up our quota, which I think we have two IT people. So, you know, technically correct. Let's see. Let's see our three dossiers. So we got Zaya Alfun. 31-year-old IT sec. Zaya spends most of their time at work reprimanding everyone. In their free time, they're developing a quantum firewall, hoping that this piece of technology will help them get rich and go down in history. It also means they can stop yelling at people due to bad passwords. Zaya. Mood. I feel like it's just, I feel like it's not really getting into the specifics of how they're dying other than like they're a coin flip away from passing for one reason or another. Also yeah, fate, you know, they're, they're, they could be uh, set up to be final destinations and if I choose them to live, they, uh, they pause to tie their shoes before um, that bus drives past or whatnot. Park Lee, 52, tech support. Park works as a team leader at Toyobishi, providing tech support for a variety of important companies across the northern countries. This can be more interesting than one assumes, as sometimes the programs companies use break down in incredibly puzzling ways. That kind of, sort of, is my... IT thing, because I never, I've been more of a jack of all trades kind of thing. I know a little bit of a lot of stuff. It's more of like, you don't know the ins and outs of a thing, but you're really good at lateral thinking and thinking in like intricate systems so you can search and put all the stuff together. 
Emmanuel Snow, history teacher, 32. What is history anyway? A collection of stories made up by those who have access to power, and even then it's full of mistakes and errors. That is why Emmanuel has grown ever more interested in teaching alternate theories to their students. Fucking conspiracy theorist history teacher literally had a substitute that was this guy. Oh, fucking Egyptian alien theory. Fucking ah. Now, see, this is what I would say. Like, is a is a red flag, which is making me wonder if I have a right read. You know, glottal <laughs> off all three. That does feel very tempting. I definitely feel like. Hmm. I'm wondering if this game. I wonder. I'm wondering if this day. This day two is like. Sometimes the shit. The shitty people have to live too. You can't have only. Quote unquote good people. And you know what? Let's see what happens. We do need to make up our quota. So let's. We'll bat him. Um. So we don't need, we don't need that. Um, but between Zaya and Park Lee. The American Revolution was fake, England still controls the world. <laughs> uh, the sun never set in the west. Um, hmm. You know, I, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling, I'm feeling Zaya's gotta live, because, you know, I, I, I commiserate much more with being frustrated at IT security and people, um, The password. Nah, I could. I could go. I could go on about passwords. So we will have to make up our quota with uh, bumping Parkley. Sorry, Parkley. I mean, both of these people um, are are similar to me for different reasons. Um, let's see. Let's see what this does. Because this did say only one human. And I don't know if we actually can, like, quote-unquote, make up our quota. Or if the game wants us to stick exactly, strictly to what we need to do for the day. Alright, office. What do you got for me, Fate? Grim, how was the second day on the job? Bad. It saddens really me to bad. that. Hmm. I see many deaths in your region today. Too many. Well, yep. That's my job, after all. I'm feeling sick. Can I leave early? Yeah. I wouldn't know anything about that. No, no. You must pay attention. The task ah. set. One human. No more. So if we fuck no up, less. we can't equalize on other days. Unfortunately, such errors mean I must ah, drop your pay for the day. You may leave, Grim. Can I get a vacation? <laughs> hey, I've been here for two days, but I kind of want to take like a couple weeks off. I appreciate the enthusiasm, generally, but do follow the rules. Good night. Rip no plague, Doctor Mask. Yeah. Well, you know what? We'll we'll get there eventually. Aw, hey, it's Glottal. I didn't know you had a cameo in this game. Right in Fate's hands. <laughs> ah, fuck! Zero money. I thought we'd at least get one money.
to the Grim Office. All right. Morning Grim. Oh. What, what, what do we got on Cocker? Tech Bros, legendary tech support team, die in an airplane crash. Major flaw in Toyabishi medical equipment leads to the demo- Oh, oh no! Body of teacher found in a ravine after they went to search for existence of extra- Okay, so that, that one's like- Fucking nothing of value was lost. The new age of digital security is upon us. Meet the Quantum Firewall. Except a Quantum Firewall wouldn't mean much. Like, yeah, you still can't hack into it, but like once, you ha once you're on the inside, all you do is set up a... Uh, um, a reverse tunnel and like, who cares about the firewall? Anyway... Don't worry about that. <clears throat> Morning, Grim. A new day dawns, with slightly fewer people alive than required. I know being a reaper may grow monotonous, but you ought to not take it out on the humans. Please, follow the rules and choose the appropriate number of profiles before you fax them to me. Quota for the day. Two humans have to die. Another day, another septum fate. Yeah, fishing tape. I mean, humans will always be the weakest link in, in security. Also, yeah, it looks like this hit. You're right, Aurora. This does look like it's a final destination sort of shindig. Ooh, we got five people. We only have to kill two. Now, it'd be funny... I say it'd be funny. I feel like this is setting me up. It says two humans. Might we get like animals mixed in too? Or other entities? Are we death for just Earth? Or do we actually cover mortality for like the universe? Well, I mean, he did actually, he did say that I. My responsibility is like this specific suburb. So, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Just the fact that it, it's specifying humans rather than just two people. I don't know. I could be reading way too much into that. All right. Let's go left to right. We got Luther Marlowe, 38 factory worker. All right. Working in a factory is very monotonous. You almost become a machine yourself. At least that's how Luther feels most days. They go through a set of predetermined motions, one after the other. However, this has also given them ample time to compose poetry. Hey, that's nice. You know, even, even if you're busy, even if you're physically active, being able to um, keep your mind busy and... It's nice that he has found an outlet to make things manageable for him. Kudos to you, Luther. Giovanni Collar, 26, Office Drone. Oh, that's... oof. Giovanni didn't expect to spend as much time with a printer, scanner, copier as they do. <laughs> Are you sure it's not IT? <sighs> Uh, it's old, slow, and unreliable. They dream of one day destroying the printer scanner copier with a baseball bat. Meanwhile, they've set up a penny skimming- This literally is fucking office space. This is office space. This is an office space reference. I see you. You gotta laugh out of me. I get you. Oh yeah, yeah, the, the factory? Factory Worker's Final Destination is probably going to be terrifying. I, I I definitely am leaning towards letting Luther live. Um, he seems like a cool cat. Um, and I would rather not read about um, degloving or anything like that. Columba Hunter, 47, airplane pilot. Columba is a distinguished war veteran. These days working as a weld 
regarded passenger airplane pilot. They're happily married and have five children. As a hobby, Columba is extremely interested in the history of religious buildings. Um, okay. The only thing I know about religious buildings is like the whole fucking, uh, what is it, the uh, pipe organ? Basically having to architecturally design the entire building with the pipe organ in mind just because of the acoustics and all the stuff like that. So like, way back when, if anyone was a fan of pipe organs, they basically would also pay for cathedrals um, as a way of getting, or they would they would commission cathedrals as a way of getting a, 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 a pipe organ because they could also have the um, church um, chip in uh, for it to be made. There we go. Annie Ryan, 27, veterinarian. Annie's had a special connection with animals from a very young age, occasionally even preferring their company over humans. Although they have only worked as a vet for a few years, they are already considered a legend and nicknamed the Mouse Whisperer. Alright. I mean, if they're... If they're um, well, no. Mice are still mammals. So it probably wouldn't be a, an exotics vet, but still, that's, that's cute. And then we have Ron Marcus, 19, Shepherd. Shepherd. Rex. Shepherd. Rex. Whoop. Ron went on a backpacking trip around the world to discover themselves. After a year of being broke, homeless, and unhappy, they found themselves back at home, where they decided to take up some nice, quiet sheep herding. You know, nothing's wrong with that. Herding some sheep. You know, even... You know, they're 19. Those experiences from backpacking around the world, um... I feel like they would still have... Damn it, Duke, how dare you yeet me? I'm I'm the one who yeets, alright? In this game, I'm the one who sends people to the void. Um You know, they're 19 and did a trip which first off Kudos to them or they have a lot of money. I don't know which is which. Ah! I guess I will hydrate. Thank you, Aurora. But I feel like, um, when they get older, that year of seeing the world, um, when they get older, they will, they will appreciate that a lot more. Because, um, one thing I think is really not, is really good for people, um, if you're able, is just to visit different places. Um, if you have the opportunity and capability, um, I know not everyone does, um, which is one thing why I'm, I'm really happy to see... One of the reasons why I love the internet so much is it's it makes the accessibility of areas not near you um, and experiences you otherwise may not have been able to have um, much more accessible. Um, just experiencing other cultures and other um, lives. Um, can help you broaden your horizons. I think it's very, very valuable. Um, but we have to kill two, so let's 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 try and do our job properly. Um, I kind of want to leave Luther and Ron. Um, you know, and Annie. Mm, it doesn't say anything about snakes, so I don't know. I don't know where she rests on that, but. It doesn't say she hates them, so you know maybe maybe she's just working up to starting with you know with the easy animals and then working up to the superior serpentine ones. Um, Giovanni, it's a funny bit, but you're gonna die. Um, and then Columba Hunter, mm, 
I don't know. What? I just got an achievement. To be or not to be? Hold on. Spend 10 minutes behind your desk without making any... <laughs> Alright, so, so dither for 10 minutes. Got it. <laughs> um, but I just... Mm, something feels off about him. I, I can't really... I can't really explain it. But we'll... We'll just have to go with that. All right, put down the papers. Ah, crap, 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 crap. All right, let's fax our decisions and see what happens. Hey, we'll actually get paid this time. Whee! Grim, my latest spawn. Three days you have been with us. How do you feel? I feel... Hungry. All the time. How is that even possible? Probably some of the psychic residue left over from the creation. Making a death is not simplistic alchemy. You used lemons. Now, let me take a look at the files you sent in today. Right. Everything looks to be in order. You have followed the rules and marked the correct amount of profiles. All right. There really is not much else to say. You may leave. All right. See you tomorrow. We finally did our job properly. How much money are we going to get? 300 monies? I don't think I can buy anything. Let's check with Mortimer. Prepare for a perilous adventure on the ocean of quality merchandises. Oh, shit. They change. Oh, Shit, they change. A perfectly regular sized toy gerbil made out of rubber. Boo, the gerbil. Okay. Oh, the ethereal resonator. Eye of Anfu. Anfu, god of the dead, mummification, embalming, the afterlife, cemeteries, and tombs, and the protector of the underworld. This hound really gets around and grants you a stunningly canine visage. Oh, would this would this make me have would this let me have a, like an Anubis head? That'd be pretty cool. Um, sorry, ads are about to start. Oh, sorry about that. Ah. Uh, well, we can finally buy something. So let's let's, let's get this gerbil. Me, how did this wee monster even get here? Tis not really all that valuable plunder. Found the tiny fellow on the riverbanks of Styx itself. Yar, a lifeless, adorable thing. <laughs> this adorably sure lifeless thing. Squeaks when he stroke it. Ah. Oh. Oh my. I guess he spent a lot of time stroking his gerbil while at sea. <laughs> oh. What's this? Uh, maybe maybe I'll get it next day. So let's end the day. Ooh, is my money wailing? Can I actually flip a coin? Oh my gosh. Anyway. Amazing. Squeaks! Alright, alright, alright. Let's see what Cocker's got for us. Pilot died in a crash due to a plane factory error. The pitfalls of mechanics industry. Sky mechanics forced to make changes in their production of plane parts. Company gets stolen money back. Money surge acts as production invigoration. Hero alert. 
Area veterinarian saves the day after pacifying a horde of hangry mice. <laughs> the mice are hangy. Did she fucking Pied Piper them? Like, damn. Industrial Labor publishes first collection of poems titled The Pain to the Workers' Impact. Critics Impressed. Pain. I, I don't know if that's a... I don't know what that means. Or if it's like wordplay on pain, like P-A-I-N. Huh. I wonder if that the the factory worker poem person worked at the uh, plane factory, and maybe he was distracted thinking of poems and messed something up. That would be pretty. That'd be pretty grim. Morning, Grim. The sun feels delightful today, does it not? You should take a nice walk during your lunch break. Oh, right. You do not eat. That means no walks. Well, here are the rules. Quote of the day. Three humans have to die. Chin up. Fate. Okay, so we got a bump three. We have five people again. Alright, let me organize my desk a little bit. So, no other qualifications. Christoph Samanis, 35, podcaster. Oh, oh, this is going to be a character. All right, what have we got? Christoph, the other set of footprints, hosts a religion-themed podcast without trying to be a jerk, together with a pal. They chuckle through life, an odd joke always ready to be thrown in at any moment. When not podcasting, they're secretly a wrestler under the ring name... Boan Boan Bo Bananges? Bo Boanerges? Bo Boan Anerge Bo Boangers. Under a name that's really hard to pronounce. Tatia Barisna, sixty surgeon. Tatiana decided to become a surgeon after their grandmother died of cancer when they were in their teens. Inspired by stories told by their parents, they wrote a book on medical recoveries in order to help others in pain. Oh, that's nice. Wait, did they write that book when they were a teen or later when they became a surgeon? Alexis Wu, 19, pop singer. Oh, we got a fucking Justin Bieber, I bet. Alexis is an uprising star who started their career in a boy band. Recently, they've gone solo and released their first album. They love dogs and having a picnic among them. Hey, Digital Vox, welcome on by. Thanks for the head pass. And uh, looks like you hit the, uh, you found the new boop. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Ray, Ray draws stuff. Um, happened to do another doodle, and I clipped it and edited it up to use in uh, boop as well. <laughs> and then because I was. Um, the jazz um, redeem. I just I just like the saxophone, so I I also use that reuse that. So whenever it fires, it has that as well. Just I don't know. <laughs> the saxophone's fun to hear. Uh, but that's Justin Bieber. So um, I like jazz. There's a there's a there's a couple possible. I need I need I, I intend to get a lot more, uh, but I only have three probably the three most well known um, like little saxophone meme sound bites at the moment. I need to I need to hunt down a few more. 
maybe something that's a little bit more, um, like, low and very vibey, slow kind of thing. Um, there's also a Mimi saxophone that I'm thinking of putting in, but I gotta, I gotta, I, I'll have to do some audio engineering to make it work and not be very stupid. Just mildly stupid. <laughs> I don't know which one you would say is the sexy jazz. Let's see. Nakisa Iwakami. 19 Axe Thrower. Hey, I think we I think we found like Maybe a long lost cousin of Dolly? Mikesa has never been particularly sporty, but is gaining fame in the axe throwing community. Their talent for this sport was discovered in rather unfortunate circumstances when they threw an axe at a sheep thief 20 meters, 20 meters away and it hit. <laughs> 360 no scope in a thief. Oh man, they got out of juvie only a few years ago. Grim, I am watching. You should mark this profile to live. Fate. Interesting. I mean, I definitely have to go with, uh... I definitely have to go with live on this person, you know, because they're, they're... Somehow, they have to be related to Dolly. At least in spirit. So, I mean, we gotta, we gotta... We gotta keep our axers around. But I do think it's interesting that now fate is making annotations on the dossiers he's sending us. I wonder if this is gonna be like, um, I don't know if any of y'all have seen it, um, but I really did love the anime um, Death Parade. Um, I think it has technically two seasons, but like, the first season is enough. Like, it's a very complete story with just one season. And... I don't know. For some reason, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to think of Death Parade, where the uh, there's something more going on. The, the supposedly impartial, um, presumably omnipotent entity deciding life and death um, actually has an agenda they're trying to push. Let's see, and our last one. Alameda Quinn, 24 footballer. A technically skilled and aggressive center forward player, Alameda has already led their football team to international championship victories several times. They aim to become the greatest athlete the Sun County region has ever had. Alright. Let them see this path. Man with them. Um, Careless Whispers. That's not what I said. I... I'm really bad with, like, remembering names and stuff. So I... I probably know what you're talking about if I heard the sound. <laughs> as, as the words, it's... In, in one ear, out the other. I have no bloody clue. Um, Alright, so... The beaver is gone. Um, so we need three to die. So that means only two can live. So figuring out who we want to live, I think it's going to be a faster way. So we have the footballer. The surgeon who wrote a book to help others, and the podcaster with the ridiculous wrestler name. I don't know why it says the other set of footprints. Wait, is that... Isn't there, like, some famous Jesus quote thing about footprints in the sand, something something... Some, suddenly there was only my footprints, something, something, reveal that because Jesus was walking behind me or something like that. Is that what this is 
like referencing with other. I've definitely been in a church. If you haven't, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> uh, um. Hmm. You know, I feel like this person, they've written, they've written, they're, they're not in the process of writing this book. They already wrote this book. Mm, but I mean, mm. I certainly like this way of getting you to, to think about things that are trolley problem-esque. Because this is, I feel this is much more constructive because it's like, where, where are you putting the weight on the value of a person? Um, is the fact that they're, they're 60 years old, they've already done a bunch of good stuff, mean they've quote unquote done enough? Versus this younger person who may live longer and therefore some may say has the potential or capacity to do even more good. I it feels memey. I kind of want to let Kristoff Lynn went live just because I this fucking line right here keeps sucking me in. Like there's some I I feel like there's got to be something that's going to happen on this little bit. And I'm just, I'm just dying to know. Poor choice of words. Ah, uh, you know what? We'll, we'll meme it up. Which means you have to die, and you have to die. All right. Well, hopefully, I don't regret this. Grim, there you are. Let us be quick. Stretch. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, shake out that noodle. Ugh. 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 Hydrate. Yeah, I can, uh, I can do that. I do have a nice half-gallon jug, so I don't have to get up and refill as often. Ha <laughs> ha. All the profiles are here. Just as requested. Excellent work. You even adhered to my little test note. I commend you for exhibiting vigilance. Test note? I am beginning to sense a tinge of pride growing within me. I did not expect you to turn out such a good and dedicated reaper. If you keep this up, you will get far. You may be even promoted to a middle management. Position. Metal management. Imagine the possibilities. Wow. Oh my god. Wait, I can do this. <laughs> the cat emits a delighted meow at the prospect. Anyway, I am quite busy tonight, so you can go. Until tomorrow, Grim. Oh, I don't get any dialogue with him? Aww. Maybe I need to maybe I need to go back to messing up so I can get some more dialogue. What ho! How can me humble and not at all adventurous self assist you today? Ten tenebrous curiosity. It spins and whirs, it clicks and clacks. Very soothing and helpful in times of stress. More to you, less to others. Ah, excuse me. The face of the Great Old One. Whoa, a seriously terror-inducing visage. But then again, who wouldn't want to look like an... Antid... Antiluvian... Antiluvian monstrosity. Besides, tentacles are extremely useful and practical.
a photic reflector, a looking glass gazing ultimately deep into the abyssal depths of the underworld. It reflects everything. Well, mostly just you. Um, oh, yeah, let's get a mirror. Once upon me and me crew sailed the southern seas and came across an accursed lighthouse. Plundered the lot of it, even the mirrors. Built the frame from beautiful driftwood, washed ashore, from the ship we rammed into. <laughs> Covered it in all gold, too, of course. I, a proper beauty. I feel like if you covered a ship in gold, it's it's going to sink. Gold, I don't think gold is a practical um, ship material. All right, so we're no longer brutal. So I feel like we got to you know, change things up a bit. Um, let's go, let's go spooky. And for our outfit. Oh, hell yeah. We're gonna be a lit ghost. 